So another thing that happened to me in the last year, um, uh, about a year ago, right now, in fact, um, one day um, I lost um, most of my hearing. Um, the fire alarm went off in my apartment, and I was like turning off the, the you know the the alarm, and I had to keep hitting the button. And in order to do that, I had to like my ears were like right by the alarm. And when I finally got the thing off, I'd lost about 60% of the top end of my hearing. It's like one day. Now I think I was primed for that after a year of playing uh, after years of playing ro in rock and roll bands, but um, so now I have um, hearing aids and I'm um, trying to learn how to read lips and. Um, um, learning ASL, thanks very much. And y why, yes, it does suck. Thank you for asking. Um, but um, one of the things that amazes me about ASL is um, the the, sh the sheer poetry of it. Um, and um, so I just want to show you a thing. So about 10 years ago, this was the, the sign for, um, for transgender people. So that's the letter X drawn across your cheek is sex. So you take sex and you'd flip it around. So sex backwards. That used to be the way people like me were um, symbolized. And not just in ASL, but kind of in the country. Uh, you know, but like someone who's been um, turned inside out, you know. You know that old song? Oh, once I knew, oh, once I sang a song about a man who got turned inside out. He had to jump into the river because it made him so very sleepy. You don't know that song? OK. <laughs> Sorry, I brought the whole thing up. Um, here's the new sign. What was that? Nice and slow. There's a flat. In fact, let's all do this. Ready? Make a little flower out of, your, out of your fingers and put it over your left breast or chest or whatever you have here, right about here, right over your heart. OK, it's going to come out. As it comes out, you're, it's going to face toward the ceiling. Right, like this, go like this, and as it faces the ceiling, open the petals. Look at that, isn't that pretty? And now, put it back in your heart. Petals are gonna close, and it's gonna go back in your heart, just like that, ready? Now we're gonna do it again, ready? Start like this, ready? Out, open, and in like this. Isn't that pretty? Okay. That's, that's the new thing. So, and forgive me for being the English teacher here, but there's a flower in your heart that cannot open because it's stuck inside. It cannot see the sunlight. So you bring that out into the sunlight. Look, and now it's facing the right way, and the petals can open. And now it can go back in your heart in the right direction. And to me, that's the difference between 10 years ago and now. 10 years ago, we were Now it's this. And this, to me, is about more than being trans. It's about. Um, well, geez, both this novel and this room is filled with people who have either now or have had something in the past that was stuck inside your heart that you could not bring out into the open. And as long as it's stuck in there, it cannot flower. And as long as that can't happen, you can't be you. Um, and that's true whether you're trans or whether you want to be an artist or um, whether you are a celebrity chef or whether you're just a person who has a secret that you're afraid to tell other people about. Um, but you bring it out into the open and the petals open and now it can go back into your heart. And that's, to me, that's the journey that we are trying to take both as a culture and also in our lives. It's that. 